Okay, so we're going to feed the sourdough starter. I've got my sourdough in the jar. I am going to pour out what I don't need. I'm actually going to make a loaf of sourdough today. So that's going to go in that cup. I've still got, you can kind of see about that much left. This bottom line on this jar is the half cup mark. So I'm just going to pour Can't really see it's really well, it's kind of goofy but it's right about right there now so now that i've only got a half cup in the mason jar i'm going to take a measuring cup i'm going to put half a cup of warm water in it the sourdough is not a fan of cold so i just generally use warm water so i've got half a cup of warm and then i'm going to take a whole cup of just plain white flour and I'm going to put it in this mixing cup I've always found that a fork works the best for this part so that's what I use I just mix the half cup of warm water and the one cup of white flour together here till they're mostly mixed and then just using the fork, kind of spoon it into the jar. The sourdough starter is super duper sticky. So I try not to contaminate any more containers than I have to with it, just because it's such a nuisance to try to clean. Some people take it out of the container, put it in a new container every time. Um, probably every two or three times that I feed it, or if it's been in the refrigerator for a while between feedings, I will swap jars with it. Otherwise, I just keep using this one. So, it is all in there. Now I'll take the fork and mix the sourdough starter with that flour mixture that I just put in there. It doesn't have to be like super well mixed, just enough that the sourdough can get to all that flour because that's what it eats and lives off of. That's what creates the, the rise action like you would get when you feed sugar to yeast. So now that it is all mixed, um, if you're not going to keep feeding it, if you want to stop feeding it for a little while, you're not using your sourdough, you can take a regular jar lid and put on top. Don't make it really tight, but you know, you don't want it to fall over in the refrigerator and spill all over the place. So just put a jar lid on it and put it in the refrigerator. Once it's in the refrigerator, it doesn't have to be fed, but once a month or so, um, just don't put it in there and forget it. Um, if you're gonna keep using it, a piece of woven cloth and a rubber band, put it on top, close it up. It's gotta be able to breathe so that it can have that aerobic action and, you know, make the bread and rise up. It's gotta have oxygen for that. But if you're not going to do that, lid, it's on there, but it's not tight so that it doesn't get too much pressure in there. So. And that's all you have to do.